Hi, welcome to the first lesson for EE2073 and we will be looking into the introduction of LabVIEW as well as for Elvis. So let's start off with our LabVIEW program. So click on your LabVIEW, click on create project and select blank VI and you'll see these two windows on the screen. One is the thumb panel and the other is the block diagram. For let view programming, normally the programming will be done on the block diagram. And as for the front panel, those are the indicators that you will be seeing for the user interface. So for this simple let view exercise that we are going to do, we will be simulating a sign signal on a waveform chart. So let's start off with the block diagram. Right click under programming structure, click on a while loop, hold and drag accordingly, and the bottom right hand corner there's this red button. It's actually a stop button. So what you can do is right click and create a control. By doing so you can also see a stop button created on the front panel. Next, we will create two number indicators. So on your front panel, right click under modern numeric, click on numeric control and place it on your front panel. So as you can see, when you place anything on the front panel, you will see a corresponding control as well on the block diagram. So we will have one more numeric control. Place it here. We shall change the name of the control to frequency and the other to amplitude. We are going to create a waveform chart. Right click on the front panel. On the graph, click on waveform chart and place it on your front panel. So this is what you'll see on the front panel and on the block diagram. You can adjust the components on your front panel by highlighting everything and shifting it. So just make the waveform slightly bigger. On the y-axis, you can also change the numbers as well. I'll change it to 5 and to negative 5 for this example. Now right-click on the waveform chart. On the y-scale, unclick the auto y and we are done for this. To simulate a sign graph, we need to simulate a sign signal. So what you can do is on your block diagram, right click, under search, type in a keyword simulate signal. Simulate signal button here. So just drag it to your block diagram. And you set the corresponding variables right over here. So for this case, we'll just do a sign signal. There's also different types of signal as well. We will sign triangle. But for this example, we we'll just look onto sign. Later on, you can further explore by changing the frequency or the phase or the amplitude or even the sample per second. So what we can do now is click on the absolute and we can also change the signal name. I need a simulated signal. So let's go on to click the OK button. 
So we are now link up the output to the corresponding controls that you want. Each different type of color cable indicates the different types of data being transferred. You can look up to the light view menu to better understand the different types of data that can be transferred. So let's go on to connect all the wires together. You can also click on this clean up diagram and you will rearrange the block diagram neatly for you. So also click on this question mark button and you will when you click on this waveform chart, it will tell you the functionality of the chart. You can click on any icons to better understand its function. So let's move on to run the program. Okay, I'll change the frequency to 1 and amplitude to 2. So this is the waveform that you'll see. To further understand what how the data is being transferred, you can click on this light bar, highlight exclusion, and you see and you will be able to see how data is being transmitted. Do play around with these numbers, the frequency and amplitude to see the different waveform output. So we just want to stop this program. You can also double click the simulate signal to change the different types of output signal that you want to display on the waveform chart. Do remember to save your projects as well. Click on File, Save As, and save your file accordingly. You may need it for your future reference. So that's it for the example for LabVIEW and we will move on to an introduction on Elvis.